Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to our February challenge, Share the Love. In this video series, we're going to do 14 days of tangles that contain hearts. This has been so much fun so far. All right, so today is day number six. I have my gold paint pen, a black micron, and a red micron and then just my pencil and blending tool. I'm using this template to draw the tangles on and then I'm adding them to another template that has the word love and we're putting them all together. Okay, if you would like these handouts, they are linked below in the description of this video. All right, so today is the sixth. Make sure I got some light on there. And this one is called Heart Leaf. By Yuru Chen, and I think she is a CZT. Okay, Heart Leaf. So Heart Leaf starts with poke root. So if you're familiar with the Zen tangle, um, tangle pattern called poke root. That's how this one starts. So we go up with this little thin stem. And then we put a curved little cap on the top. And then for this one, we're going to curve back down to the stem on both sides and then color that in, leaving that stem part white. And now poke root just kind of comes out rounded into a point, but we're going to make ours intentionally into a heart shape. So we're doing the heart shape upside down. So if you need to spin your paper to help you make the heart, go ahead. But we're going to come right here and just bump out and then down. Look at that cute little heart. All right, and then the next one, you can start right here where this one met, or you can come out a little bit and do more of an aura. It's up to you. I don't remember what she did exactly, but I'm going to start right down where that one was. And I'm kind of rounding or curving these bottom edges to give it a little personality. And I'm going to do it again. I think I've got room for one more. And then she connects these together and comes out with a little fescue. All right, let's do another one this way. So I'm gonna come off the side over here for this one. Just a really thin little stem. A rounded cap. Curve those in and ink them in. And then we intentionally make a heart. So I'm just going to let mine run right into the other one. And now for this one, I'm just going to try it where I come out a little bit at the top just to see the difference. Yeah, I don't know that it really matters. I kind of like this one better, I think the first one better. And then we 
we could connect these and come out with a little fescue. There we go, heart leaf. Okay, let's add it to our poster. Right here we go. So far we've got one, two, three, four, five different tangles, all including hearts. I'm so grateful to the community of people that create these beautiful designs for us to use. Okay, so for this one, I have a couple of thoughts. I was thinking we could fill one of these hearts with it just to see how to take a a leaf like that and and fill an area. But I'm thinking I just want to use it as like an embellishment around the outside for right now. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't have all 14 days planned yet and how they're all going to lay out. So we're just kind of figuring this out as we go. But let's just do a few leaves around this outside edge. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to pick a spot. I think I'm going to do mine right here. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let me see if I can make some room. My, my container of tiles here. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. All right, let's just make a few of these sort of filling in this area and maybe one coming out here as well. All right, so I'm gonna come up this way and just do a thin little stem, nice and narrow, put on the top. Curve those sides down and ink them in. And then make that little first heart. That first little heart kind of sets the stage for the rest of it. All right, and then we just do those auras. Do another one. I'm going to let mine go right over my border like that. All right, we're going to connect those tops and give it a little bit of a fescue. All right, and then I want to do one coming down this way. So I'm just going to let my stem go right over my border. You don't have to, you can make yours come off the side of the border if you want. And I'm gonna fill in this little capped area. And make a heart. And then we just continue those hearts. I feel like this little swoop in at the end keeps it from looking too um, triangular. Gives it a little bit of an elegance. I think that's all the auras I'm gonna do on that one because I'm really bumping into a lot of things. I probably should have made it come out a little further. Look how cute those are. All right, I want to do one more to fill in this area right here. So I'm going to curve up this way. Put 
put on that cap. And make the heart. There we go. Just this little cluster. And we can connect those tops and add a fescue. And of course you can do more than one fescue if you want. There we go. All right, so let's just take a quick peek at what this one looks like compared to the rest of them. And the difference is we don't have any texture. We don't have any like, you know, designs inside. We don't have any color and we don't have any shading. I just want you to take a quick peek at what, you know, drawing a tangle is amazing and it's meditative and I love it so much, but there really is so much fun in adding things to make it kind of pop, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my pen away for a moment and I'm going to pick up my red pen. And I think on one of these for sure, I'm going to color in that inside heart just to sort of highlight that it's a heart. And now that I did that, I kind of want to do all of them. So maybe on this one, I'll do some striping to add that bit of red, but maybe not make them exactly the same. And if I don't like the striping, I could go back and just color it in all the way. I kind of like that. And then this one over here, what should I do on this one? I think I'll do striping again, just to keep that balance of two stripes and one that is colored in. Okay, and then on this small one over here where I just have the three layers, I've got the little heart that I did with the striping. Then I'm going to ink in this outside edge, but I'm gonna use that technique like we did up here, where we leave a little area that's white as if it's a reflection. So I'm gonna work my way down this curve, and then right at the curve, I'm just going to leave this little gap and then continue on. A little gap, like there's a little bit of a Reflective light hitting that. Do it on both sides. So pretty. Okay, now this one right here, I've got the red in the center, then I've got a white aura. This next one I'm going to do in gold, and then the very outside, I'm gonna add some really thin striping. So I'm just kind of planning where I wanna add that gold layer. And of course, yours can be different than mine. All right, let's grab our gold and shake mine. Dot it on some scrap paper to make sure it's going. 
right? And then I'm going to fill in this one right here with gold. Now, the only problem with this gold is it really covers up that black ink. But you can go back in with your black pen afterwards and you can kind of fix that if you want. See that? That looks really cool. So I'm just going to put some gold dots. Being careful not to make big puddles. Some gold dots around the outside edge of that one. And then I think I'm gonna make the stems gold. I don't know why, that just seems like a good idea right now. So if you want to do that, go ahead. That looks kind of cool. Okay, put my gold away. Actually, I'm not gonna put my gold away. I'm gonna do a couple of dots as just like an embellishment around this tangle. There we go. Look at those little golden dots. That looks so good. All right, so I'm nervous about shading right now because of that gold. I should have shaded first, you guys. I learned that before, and um, and then I forgot about it. Hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little bit really carefully, and then maybe I will go back after this video, after it dries, and, and add a little bit more. But basically what I wanna do is I wanna go up both sides of that line that comes out as the fescue. Just push it out to the side a little bit. Again, I have to be a little bit careful because of this gold, but I'm going to go up that center line. And then in these two that have the little line texture, I'm going to go along the inside to give that illusion that those lines are disappearing then into the sides of that heart. And then because these are standalone tangles, I want them to lift off the page a little bit and not look so flat. So I'm going to put some graphite, just a nice thin line around the outside edge of each of those outer hearts. And let's see what that does when I push that away. I want to blend it out so it's the darkest near the heart and then it gets lighter. Look at how that kind of lifts that off the page a little bit. Isn't that so pretty? Outside edge of each of these hearts real quick. If they go over each other in any way, then give that a little shadow. give your fescue a little shadow if you want. Ooh, 
I just smushed my gold a little bit. That is okay. We're not going to worry about it, but let's see, I got a little, a little excited about my shading and didn't avoid that gold. Okay, anyway. So look at this now. It's kind of got too long over here. Look at this tangle now that we've added gold and red and shading. And look at how different it looks now than when it was just the black and white and how it blends now with what we have going on on our page. Look at that. All right, this is looking lovely. Thank you for following. We will see you tomorrow for day seven. Bye-bye.